Welcome to Dara Headlines. I'm Anthony Carlisle. Thank you for joining us. The city's emergency relief work in the aftermath of the Sichuan earthquake has had an effect that goes far beyond free hot meals and temporary shelters. For example, local resident Liu Dan, who was an active member of the junior volunteer team in Luosui, still keeps up her sign language practice today. Now an official Tsuji youth, she continues to serve the community with her friends. In a simple roping ceremony, students formally become Tsuji volunteers. The person handing out the vests is Liu Dan, who used to serve as a junior volunteer at the soup kitchen in Luosui Second Elementary School. Tsuji's emergency relief efforts in Luosui have come to an end, but as before, Liu Dan calls up her colleagues who form a small group in front of her home to practice Tsuji sign language songs. The Kasha song is very good. We are one family. Once in our class meeting, we talked about Tsuji. The whole class was moved to tears. We are very grateful to Tsuji. When you cry, it hurts me more than you. So when everyone was crying, I thought of this song. When Tsuji volunteers were offering hot meals in Luosui, Liu Dan took charge of rehearsals for a performance of the Thousand-Handed Buddha Dance. After her family moved into a prefabricated home, while her parents work in the fields, Liu Dan does not forget her responsibilities as a volunteer. In this earthquake, I saw real great love. Before, I thought people were very fake with each other. Now I've seen it. If I can help other people, I will. The first thing Liu Dan does when she gets home is practice Tsuji songs. And in her role as leader of a junior volunteer team, she calls on residents of the temporary housing complex. We only get one day off a week, so I get friends together and help serve with Tsuji. As a Tsuji youth volunteer, Liu Dan says she will continue to work for her community to help heal the deep emotional scars left by the earthquake. <laughs>